keeps increasing. So its electron withdrawing group keeps getting weaker. So if I make the carboxylate ions for these three, they become Cl, CH2, CO2 negative. Then I have Cl, CH2, CH2, CO2 negative. Then I have Cl, CH2, 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 CO2 negative. So these are the carboxylate ions. Now, in each case, the distance of the chlorine atom is increasing from the carboxylate ion. So its electron withdrawing nature is getting weaker. So this will have the highest electron withdrawing because it is closest to the CO2 negative group and therefore this will have the lowest pH. It will be most acidic because the charge density on the carboxylate ion will be lowest. So it will be least likely to bond with an H plus ion. So this will have the lowest pH. This will have a higher pH because the chlorine atom is slightly further from the carboxylate ion so its electron withdrawing nature is weaker in this case so it has a higher pH because the charge density on the carboxylate ion is greater or slightly greater and this has the highest pH which means it is least acidic in this case the first and one is most acidic this one is least acidic because the lower the pH the higher the acidity in this in this case the, this will have the highest pH because the, it is farthest from the CO2 negative group. The Cl atom is farthest from the CO2 negative group. And therefore, the charge density, the negative charge density on the carboxylate ion is greatest in this case. And hence, it will be le most likely to accept an H plus ion. And since it will be most likely to accept an H plus ion, it will have, uh, it will be, it will be less acidic. So it, uh, in this, in, in um, among these three, it will be least acidic. So this will be most acidic. This one be less, less acidic. This one will be less acidic than the first one. This one will be least acidic. So uh, the distance of the chlorine atom from the carboxylate ion also matters. So you'll have to look at this as well. And then uh, we will, and then now this is for the distance. So the greater the distance between the chlorine atom and the carboxylic acid group, the higher the pH because the higher the charge density on the carboxylate ion and hence it's more likely to accept H plus ions, which makes it less acidic because an acid has to donate protons, not accept protons. So we are done with this. Now I note this down so that we can go on to the next part of electron with donating electron withdrawing groups. So let's take a benzene, a phenol molecule now. Now let's do some aromatic chemistry. So we have an OH group which is phenol. Now I said already that phenol is slightly acidic because it because it can donate an H, H plus ion. So if I have to write an equation of phenol acting as an acid, it is C6H5 OH C6H5 OH plus H2O which gives me Possible reaction C6 H5 on negative, which is the phenoxide ion, plus the hydronium ion, which is H3O. Plus. I think we did this in the benzene and its compounds video, but we are doing this again. So 
because it can donate an H plus ion, it is an, an acid and it is a weak acid because this is a reversible reaction, which means it dissociates partially. So now.